Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Astro AI True RMS Digital Multimeter. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. It says True RMS Multimeter, Auto Ranging, Battery Testing, Non-Contact Voltage Function. On the back we have some specs, but it might be in a manual. It might be easier to read there. So the little thank you card, here's the manual. So you want to read through this. Meters themselves tend to not be inherently dangerous, but you could be working with dangerous things. So you'll want to know proper safety procedures. So this shows electrical symbols, dimensions. Here's a diagram. We have select button, hold backlight button, current testing setting, non-contact voltage, battery test setting, rotary switch, off voltage setting, resistance continuity, diode testing, capacitance testing, LCD screen, 10 amp terminal, comm, input, test leads, and alligator clips. This talks about the different functions. So I'm not going to go over all of them here, but it does have this hold backlight button. You can press it to freeze the display, or if you hold it down, it will turn on a backlight. It has a 15 minute auto shut off. This is dual fused. This talks about AC voltage, DC voltage, battery testing, continuity testing, current. So you can read through this to learn how to use everything with it. Okay, and here are some specs here, so you can pause and read through those. And here's some more here. Okay. Oh, it looks like we have some on the back also. So let's pull this out. Okay, so it looks like it has batteries in it. Let me get a screwdriver. Okay, so it has three AAA batteries. Now the screw in here is not captive, so you wanna make sure you don't lose it. So the meter has this kind of rubberized coating on the outside. On the back it has a kickstand. And pull that open, set it like that. So that's very handy. On the front we have select and hold. So the select is for switching between the settings here. So this is resistance, diode, continuity. You press that to switch between those. And then we have the different connectors here. We have the input comm and 10 amp. So here are the leads. They're a little over 30 inches. So I'll plug the black in the comm, the red on the input. And these appear to be like a PVC. I think it's PVC plastic. So this came with these alligator clips, which is really handy. I don't know if I can get inside of here, but you can place the probe inside of that like so. And now you have some clips so you can clip this to something. So let's test this out. I'll turn voltage on. I'll hit select here. We can go between AC and DC. So here we're at DC. I have a battery, so I'll just test it. We're at 1.412 volts. Let's see if I can get this start like that. Now I can turn the backlight on here, like so. There we go. So those clips can be very handy for things, or you may just use one. You might connect up to the ground and then use the other to probe things. So that's voltage. We can also test AC voltage, so I'll try that. Now it can be dangerous to do this, so you should know what you're doing before you stick things in electrical outlets. So we're at 121 volts there, that looks good. Let's try the next one. So this is resistance, diode, and here's continuity. So that's very responsive. I like that. I'll come back to test the resistance in a little bit. Let's do the battery tester. We have a battery right here, let's try it. So we're at 1.35 volts, we're a little low on that one. Let's try the nine volt. That might be dead. And it was definitely dead. I've never seen a battery that dead. So I have another one here. So this one is low. It's at 5.78. And this one should be good. Or at least close. So here we have 8.74. It has a 12 volt. This is just a small like UPS battery. So we're at 12.58, so that looks really good. So you can also measure current with this. Now it even talks in the manual how to set this up to measure automotive parasitic battery drain. So if you have a battery in your car that's draining, you can read through these instructions. And I have done this before. And the instructions seem very good in here. And you can measure the parasitic drain. And it could be helpful maybe even to use these clips while you're doing that to clip onto things. And then you can hopefully find out what's causing that. And then it also has the non-contact voltage. So if we go here, it says EF there, there we go.
So when I hold it up to this cable, it's going to beep. Okay, and then it has little bars in there. So the proper way to use a non-contact voltage detector is to test it on a known good source before you test it on something that is unknown. So let's flip back over to the resistance and I'll bring out my electronic testing set, which is a toy from the 80s. And I'll turn on the backlight. Let's see if we can do that. And I can test some of these. This is a 5.6K resistor. Jumping around quite a bit. I found those spring terminals are not great for measuring things. Okay, so we got 5.7. 2.2. There we go, we got 2.175. Now I can hit select on here, and we have diode, so I'll test that. So we got 0.29, so we got about 0.3. Let's switch it the other direction. And we got zero, so that looks good. Let's try the capacitance test. Okay, so we tested this capacitor. It's a 1000 microfarad, but I'm showing 0.858, which might be right. This is very old, so I don't know how accurate this is for measuring that, but I'll pull that away. And we also had that hold mode. Let me show that real quick. So now we have that voltage locked in on the screen so we can read it or record it, or maybe you want to take a picture of it, you can do that. So that's the Astro AI True RMS Digital Multimeter. I like the features this has on it. It has the features you'd expect out of a basic multimeter, but it has the battery testing on it. You can do capacitance, diodes, things like that. It has the non-contact voltage that can come in handy, but it also supports 10 amp input. So when you do test your car, you want to switch this over to the 10 amp. Like I said, read the instructions. It tells you how to do all that. But I like that it includes that on there so you can do that. So this would be great for automotive work, homework, handyman work, fixing things like appliances. You can do electronic things with this, measure resistors, test capacitors. It's a very compact size, so it easily fit in a toolbox, or you could even potentially put that in your pocket. I like that it has a backlight on it. Now that backlight does turn off. That's typical of a meter to save your battery, but it does have that there if you're in a dark place. And then it also comes with those alligator clips too. I've had many instances where I'm trying to hold on to two things at once. It's nice that these come with it, so I don't have to attach separate ones. I know in the past I've had like a wire with alligator clips and I'll clip one to one side and then one to what I want to measure. This way you can just set that right on there and clip it on to whatever you're measuring. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.